Since all the companies nowadays are database companies or tech based companies, regardless of whatever sector you see, you'll always find there is no shortage of job who are very expertized in mathematics, statistics and programming. Once you master the data science skill set, then there are millions of opportunities that are available for you in every sector and biotechnology is no exception. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the data science and biotechnology, a deadly career combination. I'm going to talk in detail whether data science can impact biotechnology field. Is it going to grow or not? So come along with me and let's discuss this topic in detail. So if you're new to the channel, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's talk about the complete topic in detail. So first, let's start off with what is this data science? Everybody are wondering if you are a biotechnology graduate, you would be feeling like most of the students who are into computer science have gone and become a data scientist and they are earning very good. But can a data science knowledge can be implicated in biotechnology? Yes. So if you are a biotechnology graduate, I'm going to talk about how this data science can help you in growing well in your career. So first, let's talk about what is this data science and how it's growing in the market. So first, let's talk about what is this data science. Data science is an extraction of knowledge from information. Like we'll be using some programming languages here and we'll be learning about it's similar to that of a biotechnology where you we usually does. And it's just extracting knowledge from information. So who is this data scientist? If you observe data scientists, any of them who are working as a data scientist, they would be very specialized having a knowledge in mathematics, statistics and programming languages. So this data scientists are contributing every area of biotech research. So if I have to talk about a biotechnology company, a biopharma company, or if you see some kind of app like health apps, if you see that's an artificial intelligence, which usually records how much steps you take and what are the calories that you consume in one day. So this is all the impact of data science in biotechnology field. So I can say data science is contributing nowadays in every areas of biotech research. But if I combine both data science and biotechnology, is it going to be a deadly career? Of course, it's going to be a deadly career. What this data science is actually going to do? What is the advancement that is happening in data sciences? This is from the journal that you can see the context of the 21st century, our technological tools like maths, statistics, Computational resources, like we are talking about the programming language, availability of all the data are significantly advanced and continuously improving. So if you're going to combine data science knowledge along with biotechnology, of course, it's going to take up the market. So how much is the data science growing in the entire world? Almost 22 percentage. If you talk in case of a biotechnology, 7 to 8 percentage. If you talk in case of a molecular biology, it's going to be 8 percentage. But if we talk in case of data science along with biotechnology, it's going to be 22 percentage. So that's what it's always important when you are a biotech graduate. You need to be very good enough in your maths also, statistics also, and you need to know your basics also along with programming languages. So this is about the data science the next comes of course biotechnology so what is about this biotechnology we know what is this biotechnology I'm going to correlate the same thing biotechnologies are sometimes called as data scientists and they are also called as research scientists how is this both are correlated it's technological application that uses biological system yes so if you talk in case of biotechnology we actually go in for fermentation techniques we clone these uh, cells we actually undergo genetic modification in the cellular level as well as in the entire biological system. What we exactly do here, suppose if you go and understand what a biotechnology does, they used to use some statistical analysis like ANOVA, SPSS, they use and they used to find out what exactly happens in the molecular biology level, in the DNA level, in the genomic level and in the RNA level, everything they're going to analyze. So what's the difference between a data science? and a biotechnology. In biotechnology, you concentrate on biostatistics, but a data science will be concentrating on maths, statistics, programming, which means can a data scientist enter into a biotech job? Of course, because biostatistics comes under statistics. So data scientists can also enter into 
biotechnology if you have the skills of data science and if you have the knowledge of biotechnology of course you will be hired everywhere so diverse branch of biotechnology we already know whether you go in for medical sectors or whether you go in for agricultural sector whether you go for animal biotechnology or industrial biotechnology environmental or marine wherever you go nowadays data science is really really important what is the advancement in biotechnology we already know we are working on the molecular level first we started with the cellular level and now we have improved a lot in the molecular level going in for the dna the molecules and we have started manipulating the cellular reins we started modifying cells so biotechnology is also booming and if we are going to combine data science it's going to be amazing so that is what all about biotechnology now now let's talk about let's combine biotechnology and data science together so what it's going to do so we are always talking about the ai which actually predicts something so if you go in for a website you used to see the uh, chats of the companies whether you want help so you find lot of innovation that's been happening the same way if we talk in case of biotechnology also there are a lot of innovation suppose if we combine two together amalgamation of biotechnology and data science together what's going to happen what does both does both have almost similar things as i already mentioned biostatistics and statistics is different and both are experts in research designing if you have a problem we can ha- hire a data scientist and we can tell them to design an artificial intelligence and using that we can implicate in a biotechnology research also suppose let me give you an example like if a person wants to record how many footsteps he wanted to uh, take in one day or how much amount of calorie of food he consumes so we can ask the data scientist to design an ai that actually predicts how many steps you're going to take how many um, how much amount of the food or how much calorie you're going to consume if you design app nowadays we see lot of app that's actually based on the data science but it's implicated in health and science so when we combine both the together of course it is an experimental thing and what are the knowledge that you ne- require as a biotechnology student you would be knowing what is biotechnology but you wanted to combine data science here so what you have to learn this is the most important thing i'm going to tell you you need to have a max knowledge you need to have statistics knowledge of course you have biostatistics knowledge and programming language if you're someone who are thinking i want data science also learn all this programming languages python r programming c++ matlab sas sas programming so if i have to highlight on sas programming or python and r programming it's really really important sas programmers are hired in clinical research jobs also if you go in for many cro companies you will find lot of computer science students coming and working in a biopharma company or biosector company working as a sas programmer or r programmer all this thing so if biotechnology students learn this thing even you can be hired there with the same positions along with the biotechnology knowledge apart from that learn genome analytic toolkits burrows wheel aligner and the protein variation effect analysis so you can take a screenshot if you're really willing to go in for this one this is going to make changes in your life the next one comes how this ai or we can say this data science is implicating in the biopharma or biotechnology you can see here it's involved in research and development in all the researches now we started using this one clinical development as i mentioned sas programmers have been hired and then launch and commercial ones post market surveillance and patient support yes if we talk in case of hospital they started using ai so which means when we combine biotechnology and data science it's going to make magic what about the fourth one research domain yes what are the research they can go in for if you have data science knowledge and biotechnology knowledge you can go for genomics research pharma research healthcare research environmental and agriculture research so research is a vast area where you can have a mon- immense amount of knowledge if you're going to have in data science and biotechnology it's really amazing now the question come for us is i'm a biotechnology but i want to combine data science and biotechnology together So if you are a biotechnology you might have had your bachelor's in one year of experience usually you can become a biotechnology if you have bachelor's master's along with a little bit of experience you become a biotechnologist but if we talk in case of a data scientist i'm going to highlight onto this point master's or phd in stem field any of the fields like computer science maths engineering physics or biology 
or biostatistics plus five years of experience they need to have. But how a biotechnology can learn data science techniques? Very simple. Learn out Python, MATLAB, R programming, C++, SAS programming, everything. So if you learn that and if you have an experience, you will be hired in a biotechnology company. So this is about the educational qualification that usually both the separate fields used to have. If you're going to combine both the things together, you're going to get it. The next one, average salary of a biotechnologist and a data science. So Bureau of Labor and Statistics in the US has released uh, how much a biotechnology usually earn. I'm going to show you if you're a biotechnologist, how much you earn. If you're going to have data science knowledge in a biotechnology company, how much you're going to earn. So it's 43,000 US dollars per year. And the go job growth rate is almost going to be 7 to 10 percentage by 2026. Okay. What about in case of a data scientist, according to Glassdoor, if you see in India, you see a data scientist salary in biotech and life science company. That's what I'm going to mention. Almost going to be 10 lakh per annum. OK, now what about in case of in uh, globally, you can see the difference. If they have only biotechnology knowledge, they're earning 43,000 US dollars. But if you're going to have a data science knowledge and if you're going to work in a biotech company, you're going to have one lakh thirty nine thousand US dollars, which means data science combining with biotechnology is definitely going to be a wonderful opportunity. The next one, how data science is impacting biotechnology? Yes. So if somebody wanted to discover a drug for a cancer, of course, nowadays, uh, data science is very, very important. And if you are someone who are looking to create a product that is uh, free of pollutions or that are safe for an environment. We started using artificial intelligence. We started using data science. And you can see here how this data science is involving in medical or biotechnology one. Data scientists are the gurus of big data, can facilitate major advances in medical biotechnology, very specifically in health sector they are talking about. And by utilizing individualized genomic sequencing yes we already know about genomic sequencing is happening mainly because of bioinformatics which means it is going to be a data science because of the programming that's been done and if we get to know this we can literally predict the disease before itself so what exactly nowadays we are doing is uh, if we tie this artificial intelligence or data science to a health and wellness app where the user can be alerted what food they are eating what are they doing? So if all the informations are given in that app, definitely the person will get to know if any of the symptoms are there or not. So the risk of a particular disease can be prevented and even early detection may reduce medical cost. So I can say data science combining or amalgamation with biotechnology is going to be a very great booming field. Now the question come for us is I'm a biotechnology. What do I have to do? To become a data science in biotechnology field, this is what you have to do. First, learn all the programming languages, whatever I mentioned, learn all the programming languages from the basics to intermediate and just enough to get started. OK, now you have learned. Now you have to learn statistics. If you know biostatistics, it's far good enough or else basic statistics, whichever you have learned in your undergraduate or postgraduate, learn it again and doing projects. OK, now you have learned like uh, virtually or you have gone for a hands-on experience. Now, this has to be done in a real-life project. So do projects which are very simple and easy to understand initially itself. You can take up some uh, healthcare projects that where data science knowledge can be implicated there. And whenever you're going to do a project, learn from the roadblocks faced while doing the project. What are the problems you face when you're doing that uh, project? And after that, if you have this project or experience, then you can go into the biopharma or biotechnology market and you can take up the position. So this is about the data science and the biotech uh, combined together, going to make a deadly career combination, of course. So personally, I would suggest data science and biotechnology is going to be a wonderful career opportunity if you're going to be a biotechnologist because we hear it from a lot of viewers asking, I'm a biotechnologist, but I have to enter into a biotechnology company. In that case, I would always suggest learning up any of the programming languages, whatever I mentioned, will definitely going to help you fetch a job in biopharma company or biotechnology company. So what do you think about this video? What what is your uh, assumption or your suggestions on data science impacting biotechnology? Put it in the comment section. Thank you all of you for joining.